back to the channel and in today's video what I'm going to be talking about um, is basically how to fix your Samsung T5 SSD if it's not working on the latest version of Catalina. Now what I usually do is I usually stay on the oldest software update that I can or stay on let's say I, I, I stayed on Mojave as long as I could um, because usually when Apple releases an update for Mac it's usually buggy so I stay as long as I can on the previous software update um, to avoid any bugs like this um, so I know for most of you guys you're experiencing this issue where you recently updated and for some reason now your hard your SSD is not working. Um, for me, I recently updated to Catalina and then for some reason my hard drive just would not connect. If I open this right now, my my my, my SSD is connected, but it's saying there that you know you you need to connect, right? And um, I downloaded a version here um, online and I tried to install it just to see if that would work and well basically this is the same version that's on this is the same version that's on my hard drive right now um, the installation uh, put your new password continue and it gives you an error that it's incompatible so um, what you would need to do to fix this and as you can see like I've been scrolling through a lot of comments here trying to get a fix for this um, so because I found a fix I just wanna show you guys how to get this done alright so if you um, open this as I said and it's not working and your, T, your, your T5 is plugged into your MacBook um, just close it uh, you can unplug your T5 you don't have to but I did uh, hit this file here show original and if you guys don't have uh, like a, let's say for example if you install um, straight from your hard drive you should get this shortcut if you don't get the shortcut but it's installed you can follow this here um, this route uh, Macintosh user then you're gonna see your name, library, application support, portable um, SSD, and then Samsung. Now, once you're here, what you're gonna be doing is clicking the clean up all script. Once you click it, it launches a script, and this script is supposed to delete um, the software. Well, not delete it, but clean it up. Um, so I'm gonna hit this, and it says this will remove click yes and it's gonna run it's gonna ask you for your password I know your password and it's gonna run the script so there we go it's deleted yeah so it removed it completely so now you're gonna just gonna click OK um, X you can X that as well um, and don't pay attention to that uh, you can delete this if you want uh, it serves no purpose now Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now is show you where you can get the software that is um, working, or uh, the software to fix this problem. So I'm just gonna go over to here, um, and I'm gonna leave this link in the description below, so you guys can go check that out. Um, and if you're new to this channel, you can go ahead and uh, subscribe. Uh, I do make a lot of iPhone videos, but um, I'll be start making. Uh, a lot more tech stuff from now on uh, any little problems that I'm faced with I just make a video about them alright so uh, scroll all the way down to download files and then you're gonna see the version for Mac I'm just gonna download it uh, once you have it downloaded uh, all you need to do is click on it to install
once it pops up then you hit continue hit continue agree install enter your password install install and as you can see this is actually installing the software right so um, this is gonna take a little time well it's not gonna take a long time but for video purposes what I'm gonna do is just speed up this video a little bit um, so uh, we can get the process going real, real quickly alright um, now when this is done it might ask you to restart so um, when it's finished, go ahead and hit restart, alright? So, as you can see, it's now completely installed um, what I'm gonna do now is restart so um, when my machine is back up I'm gonna show you that this does work alright your hard drive hit refresh and uh, there you go now I'm able to put in my password and if there's an update here, you can go ahead and take that update. You need to um, turn the, the password off if you already have one, all right? So go here, and uh, you'd have to unlock it, then turn the password off. So for example, let me show you. Sorry guys, my hand just my hand just um, disconnected the hard drive. Alright, so I'm gonna put in my password. Once it's unlocked, you can go to settings and then you can turn security mode off. While you, what, um, yeah, so you can turn security mode off. What, um, after turning this off, then you go to update and then you can check if there's any update. And this should update the um, firmware on your T5 to the latest, so um, you won't have this um, issue again, okay? So that's it, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna show you that it did come up in my window. Here it is. Uh, and I have access to everything on my hard drive okay so that's it guys thanks for watching and if this video did help you go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new uh, go ahead and subscribe also hit that bell to be notified when I'm gonna be dropping new videos and uh, smash that like button if this video did help you or if not then <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. All right